all right guys what's going on it is january like the 11th or 12th right now something like that and if y'all are like me y'all are going stir crazy with all this rain how cold it's being all i want to do is talk fishing order fishing baits tie my fishing lures up so we're going to talk today about the baits you need to order right now if you want to have them in time for the pre-spawn this year because it's coming fast the december 26th is the shortest day of the year the days are getting longer every single day and that makes the fish move shallower and shallower trying to get ready to spawn here in a couple months so they're on the move right now and it's time to go catch them and i'm gonna show you all the baits that i use to try to catch these fish in the pre-spawn but first i want to tell you all there's a new tournament program coming out from striker and the cool thing about it is it targets the grassroots the smaller club organizations which is where i started fishing 15 16 years old traveling around to all these club tournaments here in the local alabama area so if you have a club Go to strikerbrands.com, check out the tournament rewards. You can apply. Everybody in the club will get a discount on striker clothes. And then whoever wins Angler of the Year can actually win a striker prize package. So go to strikerbrands.com and check out the tournament rewards on there. But let's get back into all these baits right here. And the number one concept you're going to see me use the most in, you know, these pre-spawn kind of techniques that I do is a bulk. This is the almost the only time of year where I'm going for added bulk and the actual lures that I'm throwing. So I'm looking for baits that I can reel relatively slowly around these covers they have a lot of vibration a lot of thump and they'll stay in the strike zone for a long time because when these big pre-spawn females are pulling up getting on these isolated cover getting on the back post of docks getting on the front post of docks i want something that i can really keep in their face for a long time and is going to draw these fish from a long distance away so around here we have a lot of grass a lot of rock and a lot of docks that's kind of what this is going to be tailored to but you can do this all throughout the country. So let's start out with my number one. This is the one I'm going to lean on the most where I'm just fishing at all in the pre-spawn. And that is going to be a jig. So let me start out with this right here is the Untamed Tackle Ace Jig. This is going to be one where if you have multi-species in your lake, especially largemouth bass, spotted bass, and even some smallmouth, you want to go with something that has a little bit smaller of a profile. And this jig right here is a little bit smaller. It'll get eight by all three species at any given time. So in the pre-spawn, this thing can still get some really, really big bites. I mean, I caught a 611 on this thing in the fall, much less on Guntersville this year, but it can get some really big bites in the fall. But if you're fishing around grass, you're fishing around stuff that you need to draw fish from a little bit more, a little bit more dirty water, or only fishing for largemouth, you can go with something like the untamed tackle eviction jig this is a very very big jig it's got a lot of bulk to it they come in very big sizes like a 5 8 this is a big one it's got a big hook on it so you can flip it up there in the heavy cover it's got a four alt big heavy wire hook in it and you can set the hook hard with a seven foot six flipping rod and i'm gonna show y'all that untamed tackle ace jig i was throwing this one is a little bit smaller more for skipping docks and stuff like that in a little bit clear water with multi-species like i said in the pre-spawn but you can't catch big largemouth on it it's on a seven foot three point blank rod all fuji components and this is 20 pound sunline shooter that i have on this jig right now if i'm going to throw the eviction jig i'm going to show you all the rod that i use that for my rods are falling off the boat right here this is my actual flipping stick this is the one that i'm flipping all the time half ounce weight big four all hook this time of year i take this whole setup off and i put a big bulky jig on and that's what i'm flipping around with these isolated stumps isolated laydowns dock post brush piles around the docks everything that i come to i'm going to flip something with a little bit more bulk and i'm going to add a pretty big bulky trailer on this jig right here something that catches a lot of water gives it a lot of fall, uh, slower fall and got a lot of action in the water so that whenever i'm fishing this bait it makes me slow down a little bit more and it has that giant profile to get a big bite that time of year so a jig is the number one go-to in my opinion that time of year and obviously if your water color is a little bit different you know if it's clear you can go a little bit more green pumpkins this one right here has actually been used and abused but this is a green pumpkin i've caught some big fish on this is a brand new black and blue big bulky one you can see here's something that i do personally the green pumpkin ones i actually there we go i actually take a lot of strands out of the skirt and this right here is a black and blue for a little bit dirtier water i leave the skirt really big and bulky so you can see how i kind of change things back and forth now from there my number two if i had to just go everywhere in the country and have a pre-spawn bait it's obviously got to be a dang chatterbait this thing catches them everywhere we go from south florida all the way to new york if you go out to california you can still catch some fish on it and you can do that with the other bait that i like to throw a lot too but this bait right here is just such a good way to cover water because you can take and put like a big swim bait on back 
and it'll have a lot of lift to it. You can put a double tail grub on the back, like a missile twin turbo on the back, and it'll give it a lot of lift up in the water column. Or you can size down, if you've got really clear water, put a small swim bait on there or something with a, you know, not a boot tail on it, and it'll get down a lot deeper. So a lot of times you can just change the trailer and change exactly how this bait tracks through the water. So it's one of my favorite baits this time of year. I usually keep it pretty simple. Black and blue, white, green pumpkin, that's about it. I keep those in my boat at all times. And wherever we go in the country, I feel like I can get bites on this exact bait. So you can fish around docks, grass edges, rocks. You can catch it off bridge, bridge pilings. You can throw this bait absolutely anywhere. You throw a square bill or you throw a spinner bait or anything like that. And this bait also skips. So you can get it a few extra places that you know you cannot get you know, a spinner bait or some of them other baits. So the rod I throw this on is a seven foot three point blank medium heavy. Same thing, all Fuji rod components, SK2 reel seat in a seven to one gear ratio reel. 20 pound Sunline shooter. That is my chatterbait setup all throughout the country. This is the standard. Sometimes I'll deviate the line, the rod, the reel, but for the standard, this is the rod, reel, line, and chatterbait setup that I have for going all over the country. So if you wanna catch some pre-spawn bass, that is a great two baits to do it on. But if you got a little bit more specific type of cover, or if you have a, a you know a big cold front come through these next two baits are going to be you know kind of the better ones for me so the swim jig is my absolute favorite you can see um these are the two that i throw right here this is the original swimming jig from untamed tackle and this is the untamed tackle punisher you can see the hook size is a lot different the jig size on the punisher is a quite a bit bigger the regular swimming jigs a lot more finessey. So these are the two that I throw. Normally in the pre-spawn, I'm going to throw the big bulky Punisher. That's going to be the one that I'm going to throw the most. And if you've got, you know, super shallow cover, you know, wood, stumps, shallower laydowns, grass, anything like that where the bait's a little bit heavier cover that the chatterbait doesn't come through quite as well, you can skip this swim jig up in there, put a trailer on it that has a lot of resistance to it so it keeps that bait pretty high in the, in the wet water column and fish it real slow over those limbs of the laydowns, the back dock post, the cross beams on the docks, the isolated grass, whatever it is. Even I swim this thing down seawalls a lot on some of my local lakes and catch some pretty big fish doing that. So that is one of my all-terrain baits that I keep on the deck at all times. You can throw it literally anywhere. That's why I call it all-terrain. It's kind of like a four-wheel drive chatterbait. So I keep it on the front deck at all times and I catch a lot of big ones on it in the pre-spawn. And that's what these baits are, is the pre-spawn baits. We might do another video talking about how to target the spawn and the baits will be a ton different. So if you have a cold front come through in the pre-spawn, it seems like those fish just hug up to the bottom and they won't come up as good on the chatterbait or the swim jig. And you gotta slow down and throw something like the jig. And then you gotta throw something like a square bill. And a 1.5 square bill catches fish all throughout the country. That's pretty much the size of this one. It's a smaller square bill. This is just a shad pattern. And if you are fishing, in the pre-spawn catching them good around anything and a cold front comes through this bait right here will get the reaction bites and that's one of the things wherever the fish pull up in the spring they pull up and i feel like when a cold front comes they don't just like leave and go sit out in the middle of the channel in super deep water i feel like you have to start throwing reaction baits and make those fish actually react to something instead of like a, like something they actually hunt down from a long ways this square bill will get down there and really react and dart off of whatever cover they're sitting on and you can make them react to it even whenever the bite is really really tough after a cold front so whenever a cold front comes through or if i'm trying to fish a little bit deeper than the chatterbait a little bit faster in that four or five foot depth range i want to keep the bait there and go a little bit faster i'll go with the square bill especially around rock bottoms or if i'm fishing a lot of wood like lay down like without a ton of branches like kind of like poles in the water that are laid down on the bank without a ton of branches i'll pick this square bill up and crank that also so the rod i throw this on is a seven foot medium moderate this is 10 pound sunline shooter and a seven to one gear ratio reel for all my square bills so that is the baits as a standard that i keep on the front deck at all times in the pre-spawn and we're only three or four weeks away from it down here where i'm at so i know i gotta order me some more i got a lot of stuff sent to me but i always seem to need something else so if you want to, you know, be ready for the pre-spawn, it's time to order right now. We'll see you on the next video. Hope you all enjoyed it. Click the thumbs up button. I appreciate it, guys. If you like this video, you like these types of videos, hit the like button. I really do appreciate it. And we're about to be everything ready so we can leave ahead to St. John's for the first Bassmaster Elite Series event. I know y'all don't want to miss it. So hit the subscribe button and turn the alerts on. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks, guys.